What's up, Kyle Gang? Welcome back to Statics. So let's solve this problem. So we have this shape, and we're trying to find y bar, which is basically the height from the x-axis to the center mass of the shape. So let's go ahead and do it. So what I've done is I've kind of set up this problem a little bit. So I've gotten all these dimensions, right? 50, 150, 50, and it's 25 millimeters wide. Basically, what we want to do is when we're using our center of mass equation, we want to break it up into as simple of shapes as possible. This is a confusing shape but we can break it up into three simple shapes. So I have a big rectangle on the bottom here, which we're gonna call that shape number one. Now it's 300 wide, 25 more tall. That's just basically breaking up the, the numbers that are given to us. Then we have these two rectangles, so we're gonna call these shapes two and three. So these are three really easy shapes to work with. And by using this equation and breaking it up into shapes, we can combine it all together to find its final y bar. So the equation here, we need to find two things. We need to find y bar prime and area prime, which the prime just says it's for each of the three shapes here. So we have one, two, three shapes. So we need to find y bar for each of them. So this is gonna be really easy because the rectangles, this first one uh, is y bar. So it's the height, the center maps from the height. So if it's 25 meters, 25 millimeters tall, it's gonna be that divided by two. So 12.5 is its height. And for these shapes, uh, it's 100 millimeters tall, so half of that is 50 millimeters. But remember that Y bar is not just coming from the bottom of the shape, it's coming from the bottom of this whole big shape, which is the X axis here. So Y bar prime is going to be more like this. So it's a shape from 25 millimeters plus half of 100. So these are actually going to be 75 millimeters for these two rectangles because they're both the same height. So that's why we find y bar is not 50, it's 75. You have to account for the extra height. So now area is pretty easy to find. We're just gonna multiply base times width. So 300 times 25 gives us 7,500 for the first shape. Then 100 times 25 gives us 2,500 for these other two shapes. Cool, so now that we have this table filled out for all of our shapes, we just can plug it right into our equation. So we're gonna do that. So here we have our equation, y bar. So we're gonna take the y bar prime multiplied by area prime for each of these and add it up. So we have 12.5 times 7,500. We're gonna then add that to 75 multiplied by 2,500. Then we can add the second one, but because this is the same as this shape, we can just multiply it by two instead of adding another one, just to save us some time. Now on the bottom, we're just gonna add up all the areas to so 7,500 plus 2,500. And then we'd add another 2,500, but we can just multiply that one by two to get a simpler equation. Plug that in really easily, you get 37.5 millimeters. And that's our final answer. So it's really is that simple sometimes. So this shape is a pretty simple one. Uh, if you want more practice with circles and triangles, check out my uh, playlist. We have more complicated problems than this one. So thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for supporting me. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.